Now, Channel 3 Early Warning Weather. All right, that heavy, steadier rain is over and done with. Now, there will be a few showers still to contend with at times as we go through the overnight hours. Right now, though, we are seeing kind of some dreary conditions out there. Let's show you what's happening across Windsor Locks. We have 49 degrees. You can tell we do have a little bit of haze and limited visibility at times. Some fog has developed out there. And as we take a look at the visibility, we have it down to one mile. So we just want to give you that early warning alert to take it extra carefully if you're going to be traveling this evening just because of the limited in, uh, visibility and also there are damp roadways and there are still some showers to contend with. As we take a look at early warning pinpoint Doppler, again, most areas it is quieted down significantly, but we do have a little bit of rain from time to time. Uh, this little shower here, you can see uh, this has moved through the uh, New Hartford area. We'll continue that journey off to the north and east. Uh, we also have another shower uh, that has moved through East Hartford, so now it is just to the northwest of Vernon north of I-84. So again, a few spotty showers out there, but we still have a little bit more rain to contend with, but nothing like we had this afternoon. So you can see that batch out towards Pennsylvania. That still has to swing through as we go through tonight, so we'll keep that rain chance going through about midnight. The uh, future cast does indicate still a few showers passing on by through about 10, 11 o'clock, but as we mentioned, by midnight, most areas are dry. As we head into tomorrow morning, clouds will return. We may briefly clear out tonight. Clouds return. You might see a brief shower from those uh, clouds, but most of us will be dry as we kick off the morning hours. As we get into the afternoon, as some drier air works its way in, we may start to see those clouds breaking up, uh, leading to some sunshine as we close out the day. So we are seeing that wind right now. Nothing too crazy. 16 mile per hour gust in Willimantic, but uh, don't be shocked if you hear the wind chimes this evening into tonight. 21 mile per hour gust possible around 11 o'clock inland, even stronger along the shoreline. So just just want to give you that heads up that you might hear uh, things kind of moving a little bit outside. So again, we have some gustier winds for tonight. Temperatures as we start off tomorrow morning into the upper 40s, low 50s, not much of a warm up. And then we're going to head downward into the 20s. So frost likely by Tuesday morning, Tuesday afternoon highs in the 40s. Next system we're going to be talking about is for Wednesday. So before we get there, we're going to have high pressure building in and that's going to be for Tuesday. So that leads to more sunshine, but some really cold temperatures. Then as that system approaches, this one has a lot of wind energy with it, so we're going to expect some strong wind gusts, some heavy rainfall. And as we take a look at those temperatures for Wednesday, it's going to be well above freezing. So there is going to be all liquid with this, at least for the most part. Now we are going to be talking about as we get into Thursday during the early morning hours, you notice there are some below freezing temperatures across the northwest hills, and we've been kind of mentioning that there's a possibility of a few flurries. It may end briefly as snow, but this is primarily a rain event. Sorry there, snow lovers, and we have to be patient. It doesn't look like uh, we're going to see much other than rain with that system. Again, that's Wednesday afternoon, evening through about midnight or so for Wednesday when our next round of rain comes and then our temperatures will start to back down again. Next weekend, it looks like there's a small shower chance. This doesn't look like any of the rain we experienced today, so that is some good news. And then, as mentioned, uh, tomorrow we will see improving weather throughout the day. Those temperatures chilly at night at times and along the shoreline. Of course, there'll be a couple degrees warmer each and every day. That's looking at your forecast, Brian.